Glock in my lord. <laughs> Yo, yo, what is up, guys? It is your boy Mountain Dew here, and welcome to a new game called Stories, The Path of Destinies. Haven't played this game yet, but it looks really, really good, so I decided to get it. I don't want to waste time. I want to jump right into this. Once upon a time, the oh, infamous it's one of those games. Renata okay. Plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Is that me? He swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the Emperor had changed. He'd been good once, a shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. Then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods. Midnight rituals, victims screaming. All right, all right. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages, and no one ever returned. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books, so they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, what? outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with drop ships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion and Bernardo had promised his mother he'd protect him all right all right what uh, fucking English holy crap come back to me Was that like a flying city or something? That's freaking awesome. I wonder if this is gonna be like a first person game, a second person, or a third. Actually, there is no third person. I mean, second person. There's no second person. It's just first and third. The kid was looking down. Oh, his city wow. Burn. Sorry, kid. Renato told the kid. So who am I? If you give them the book, they leave you alone. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. Who's the book? So Renato had to run after him. Okay, so this is me. So it's got a third person perspective. Wow, this looks beautiful, man. This looks great. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner, which probably I'm not really a fan of third-person games, ravens. but hey, Bernardo said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Oh, wait. That didn't come out right. For wait, the what? Emperor! The ravens cawed and rushed at him. <sighs> Can I like jump or hop or anything like that? Well, an enemy is about to attack. Okay. All right. This is pretty fun. A dropship flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. The narrator is great. Hold square to grab, aim, and to throw. Okay, that sounds fun. Ooh, he's gone. Bitch. Bitch. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, right. The gate of heroes. I have to be able to Someone's jump idea something. Of a joke. Making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. What? I'm not taking the damn book anywhere. And neither are you. 
Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. What is he, a bunny, a rabbit? But he had guts. Where was Renata going to get a hero sword? Yeah. That mystical box right over there. Right, right, right. Or and wind essence? Perfect. Sword crafting. This is the sword crafting menu. Here you can craft and upgrade powerful magic swords. Gather gather the required materials from the chest scattered through Boras. Boras, horrors, oh my god. Collect the required materials to craft the sword. Look badass. I'm really digging this game. Okay. So I have three oh, hero I have sword. Q E D. Oh, that's cool. That's so freaking rad. So anytime I see one of these, I can like. Oh, okay. So I'll just be upgrading my sword along the way, collecting ore. This is what he got for settling down right. and finding people to care about. The kid's mom had been a swell cook, and she'd awesome. laughed at Renato's jokes even when he didn't know he'd made one. And the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. He came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. I know it. There'd been a bridge here I know before, it. hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I harped, said the kid. Wise ass kid. <laughs> hey, look out behind you. Q said Renato. Ah, oh, ravens. No, he was being serious. Okay. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. Thing was, How do I? He hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. He'd done it. Maybe if he meditated, learned new skills. At that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. Each time you gain a level, you also gain a skill point. Spend your skill points at the altars scattered throughout Boros to gain new powerful ability abilities or upgrade existing ones. Sounds about good. Okay. Okay. It was starting to come back to him. Something you never Oh, that's freaking thought. awesome! Like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the I can grab enemies with this hook, yo. Okay, so how do I use the hook? Oh my goodness gracious. Awesome. 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 Damn it. That hook. There was the <coughs> Excuse me. That hook is she awesome. Was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kester run in twelve furlongs. Oh, so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! Damn it, kid! Shouted. I'm not giving you the book. Shouted the kid, and took off. No, Peter. But the kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him with its eyes. You're about to get your ass beat. Oh fuck. Okay. Just run around him. <laughs> yeah, how about the we don't fight? It was him? unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes. And a kid-sized pile of ashes. Damn. Damn. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renato picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. Holy crap. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. What was the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. 
Why don't you just be completely All blank? Been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Cord the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the Raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base! I will spare your life! It called. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the Pillars of Heaven, a sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time, unless Renato could bring a game-changer. Maybe he could. Renato had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper. What? The legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. There's Surely always a legendary some, weapon some sort of would weapon. win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off. Not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky Ripper. No, you're gonna make me pick. You can't make new old friends. The rebellion was out of time, and Renato needed a game changer. Even though Lapino wasn't what anyone would consider a game changer, he could come up with the same airbrain schemes. Maybe rescuing him was worth it. An ancient artifact that defeated the lost gods would indeed be a game changer. Though it was split into two pieces many years ago, Renato could build it by first getting its armature. Well, it was separated into two pieces. So finding them could probably be a pain in the ass. But, and then that one's like, really, it's like a 50-50. Because, because it says maybe it was worth it, and maybe not. Because what if he doesn't come up with a scheme, an elaborate scheme or something? Damn, that's hard, yo. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. I gotta pick one. And... I gotta pick one. Let's do that. Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried <laughs> its pieces. I don't need what no friends. Them to light. This Emperor, Isengrim the Third, had once been kind. My guy's badass. He'd gone mad, and now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the lost gods. Had he somehow summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renato could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. True, true. Okay. This is a really amazing game. The, the game really does look beautiful. That was kind of a holy crap moment in the beginning of the game already, how the kid dies. As he it's like, really? Alright guys, we'll be right Renato back with could this. could not help but feel a tinge of guilt. He left Lapino behind. He hoped to murder him alive. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Renato never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much, he just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. Damn it. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? Are you telling me I did a... I did a bad? Get the Sky Ripper armature, okay. 
That's if I can actually find it. Like, what if it's not even a real thing? If I craft a sword now, it's gonna be really short. <laughs> I can't. I need 30. Ooh. I can set an enemy on fire. I can freeze him? Ooh! Increase movement and attack speed. It increases your movement. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The fire one actually sounds pretty good because you can actually damage them by like double. Holy crap, what am I doing? Okay. How do I get over there? Oh. Huh? A lever? That was new. Most people still use doorknobs. A lever in an old school game like this? Oh my god. I don't have the right sword. Spin to win. Are you serious? That's a trophy? He won't see me here, right? What about him? The people who had built this castle, did they even know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls? Nope. The Sky Ripper could destroy anything it touched. Or so the legend said. I have no skill points. As the transcendent emperor had fought the lost gods, thousands of thousands had died. But Bernardo had been through wars. The only merciful war was Ooh, a hell. short one. Oh, so what am I doing now? He just needed to smash something. I'm guessing he's talking about this. Oh. I guess he was. Sweet. Anyways. I don't have swords for any of this stuff. Oh, okay. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Uh oh, look out. Ah, you little bitch. Come on, faster, faster. Much faster. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. Renata felt ready to become faster, stronger, bolder. If only he could figure out which. Oh my. I'm not gonna lie. This game is actually pretty damn good. I really don't play games like these much often. Have you ever felt you were just going around in circles? Bernardo felt like that. Uh, no shit. The narrator is just... Oh. Go, dude! What the hell you doing? Ow. I'm at 37. Are you serious? Listen, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Ah, a puzzle. We're not allowed to No. Except when he couldn't figure them out. Uh, On the other mm. hand, if there was a puzzle, it was probably meant to keep people away from oh, wait, something good. I am terrible at puzzles. Holy crap. That would take years on a single puzzle. Or sick. No, I forgot that last or. 
I'm going back for it. needed bridges anyway? I'm going back for that ore, dude. There we go. Alright. So, if I move this. Bang. I have no clue where I'm going. Like, I don't know if we have a map or something. It was starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot. Like, how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Nuh uh. There it was. Nuh uh. Skyripper's armature. All right. Stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. I bet. Who's it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. At first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart. A core that had come to rest on the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had For just what? invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now... That made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. Maybe he should go see, see, invaded a city, adopted a daughter, an old friend. That makes no fucking sense. Go get the other piece. It was a no-brainer. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself. Only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices. And he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good no matter how much it costs. I hate when it makes me Zenobia. choose. Well, he would see her sooner or later across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. What if this magic weapon, like, ends up being completely useless? That would... That would kind of suck. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get into this. It's a good game so far. He looked up at the old trees around him. Damn, it's beautiful. So, so I love it. So old. They'd been there before he was born. And they'd be there after he'd Holy crap. Legend. Oh, I thought that was part of my sword. Was he confronting his own unimportance? What had got into him? What's up with the narrator, He's no dude? Philosopher. Anyway, who cares? He was plenty important. He was a hero. And soon he'd prove it. Um... Hold on. Or I have 17 or I could probably make something. Let's go. Yeah, I could probably like make a sword right now. Maybe. I don't know. Because I have like one of everything else. I feel like I'm gonna get jumped. There was something sour in the air. Yeah, that's like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. I know it. But I'll figure it out once I finish killing everybody else. Here. Teleport! There were fewer and fewer trees. There were only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? 
He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the raven when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest, the mice and rabbits. Where had they gone? He was getting hungry too. This was an unhealthy place to be. Come on. <laughs> Show me what you got. You don't have the guts. Gonna charge for all the holes in his clothes. I don't have a lot of health left. The twenty-sided core made. Oh my God! It's sick. actually here. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark arts, and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there. This felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin. Then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. He carried his prize back to the Farfarer. Now he had to make his next move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc. Oh, my bad, guys. And if it wasn't, well. Better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Holy crap, this game is amazing. I'm really thinking of doing a series on this. This game is awesome. I really hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I think next time I'm going to go with the top one because we've been doing the bottom one for like, I think that's like two or three times now. And I'm just going to go with the top one next time and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.